Um, just so you're all aware, we're not live streaming right now. I will put the recording of the meeting online afterwards and we will begin the meeting. Okay. Calling the meeting to order at 3.07. Moved by Rebecca, seconded by Jackie. Are there any um, additions or amendments? And can we see those people? <laughs> I want to see their lovely faces. Okay. So, um, be it resolved that the heritage meeting be uh, adopted as circulated. In favor? Hands up. Okay, thank you. Are there any, oh, land acknowledgement. Um, and in, we recognize that we gather here on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee nations. Acknowledging that we are settlers here. We make our homes today on land bound by Treaty 13. It is through the long stewardship over thousands of years and the four sacrifices of the original inhabitants that we are able to make this beautiful place our home. The ongoing stewardship of the environment is a legacy we must strive to treasure and preserve. We invite everyone to investigate the findings of the Truth and Reconciliation Committee and the treaties that still bind all of us so we may share this land with honor and respect, learning from one another and listening to their story so we may better go together because it is our collective history. Speak which. Okay, are there any disclosures of pecuniary interests? Hearing none. The consent agenda items listed under this are considered routine and enacted in one motion. Any member of the committee may request one or more items be removed for separate discussion each and every matter of business contained in the consent and recorded separately in the minutes. We have the advisory committee meeting minutes from September, that long. Holy mackerel, because of the election. Monthly and quarterly newsletters received from um, ACORN, CHO, uh, Heritage Matters, um, January, February, and March editions. Um, so moved by. Glenn Vickery, seconded by Judy Van Cleve. And I've only got initials. <laughs> yeah. I have to stop and think, who's who's that? Uh, whereas we um, we have reviewed the consent agenda consisting of various proposed resolutions, be it resolved that the Heritage Committee adopt and approve the recommendations contained in the consent agenda dated March 28th and directs staff to perceive all necessary administrative actions. In favor? Hands, yeah, thank you. Um, no deputations, we're gonna make this short because we started late. Uh, reports, a summary report of what we did last year. I'll let you lead that please. So it is just, um, this is a routine report we write every year about what we did last year. So of course this was on 2022. Um, and I just need the committee's approval to send this to council and it will come to the April 11th meeting if you have approved the report. Um, it goes over the heritage designations. So, so last year we went to the Wiser property. Um, we're waiting on the burger to hear from the burger property. Um, it reviews the heritage tax relief program of everybody that was in the 2022 program, um, outlines the things we did with heritage plaques and rewards. So um, we'll discuss briefly in our work plan about the um, plaque for the settlement of the white. Um, and we'll talk for further about that, but um, we had ordered that last year. Um, we gave a grant for the pioneering women of Lake of Bays project. Um, then we have the Heritage Registry, so continue to collect and archive historical information. Um, we did the Ontario Heritage Week, social media campaign, and various other, um, oh, and the interview from that uh, Councillor Tapley is um, yes, transcribing. Thank you. There goes my words. It, it's been a long day. <laughs> um, and then obviously the other um, community involvement. So if anyone has any questions, happy to answer them. Pretty routine, like I said. Sure. Not so much a question. At the library right now, there's a photo exhibit um, 
connected with that, um, what they call it, ladies of the lake. The pioneering women. Pioneering women. Mm -hmm. uh, featuring uh, Kathy Nystrom. It's required as part of a curated art exhibit they have to do to get their grant. So if you have time, drop in the library and take a look at what they've done. It's kind of weird, but makes sense. How long is it on for? I don't really know. And this month, this month, maybe like next month. I think they've done they've done a whole bunch. They did a every season with with her. And this is a winter season okay. that's going now. So I expect to go on and on. Was um, the Dwight or Basil? Dwight. Okay. At the Dwight Library. Um they put her in these designer gowns. Very, very, very swish gowns. And took all sorts of photographs of her. In these various gowns. So it looks gorgeous. Don't just feel mm. like Kathy, but it looks gorgeous. So if you have time, take a look. And um, something else I was going to say. Yes. I'd like to um, update Judy on, on what was happening, what we've done with, with this group. Uh, we're getting in the work plan, does that? Is, is that in the work plan? Is this the pioneering? Yeah, women. Yeah, we can discuss it and then work. Okay. Plan. Um, so basically, that's what I had for that. Okay. okay. Sorry, can you pass the resolution? All right. Anyone have any other comment on that? Moved by JG, moved by RK, that we receive, approve the draft report, draft staff report dated uh, 2022 Annual Heritage Advisory Committee Summary Report, dated March 28th, and submit staff, direct staff to submit the report to be included on the next, next council agenda. All those in favor? Thank you. Okay. Um, heritage tax, property tax relief. Uh, does Judy know about this? June, no, okay. We are the only municipality in like um, Muskoka that does offer this. And it's 40% 40 40 off your taxes across the board if you join the program. So if, you're, if your house is designated and we approve it for designation, you can then apply for the tax relief. And this is a report on Mr. Hadwin. I was bringing it forward for renewal last for three, three years and then you must renew. So um, it's a very good catch to get them into the program and get them continuing to maintain their houses or cottages or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, where am I? Do, would you like to just pass the resolution or do you want me to discuss Oh, I this? just want to find this. Okay. Out. I'm lost. It's okay. Oh, okay. just a minute, I'm yes. lost. No. I love technology when it works. Okay. Oh, we haven't said who's passing it. There I go. So Moved by RK, seconded by GV. Whereas we received the staff report, Heritage Property Tax Relief Program uh, regarding Hadwin on a Vista Road. Be a result, the application for tax relief for the designated heritage property under the, under the Ontario Heritage Act for preservation, restoration, and maintenance of such structures located at 1078 Bonavista. Um, blah, 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 be, be approved for the tax relief renewal program for the period 2022 to 2024. And that further, we recommend these applications be forwarded to the finance department for processing. All those in favor? By the way, these are wrong, wrong people. Just so you know. Um, um, Councillor Tappy, could I add? to that just briefly for the Heritage yes, Property Tax Relief Program. Um, the bylaw for that was to 2017. And I would like to propose that bring it back. we bring it back and we review it. Yes. Um, I think it's time. So I didn't want to bring it to the first one and 
you know, we'll yeah. go forward, but I was thinking kind of this year. Good idea. It's okay. been that long, yeah. 2017, since we talked about that program we're giving tax relief for. So yes, not, we have to find out how much our cap is. I can rem never remember what we can go up to. So municipal cap is 4,000 and then um, district matches that. And then there's also off of education. Yeah. Um, but as we all know, times are changing and things like that. So I think it's time that we look into it again. Okay. Okay. So we're on to discussions of the work plan update. Please do, because I've lost it. Fine. Really lost it. There we are. I found it. Are you able to see that, Judy and Glenn? Pardon me? Yeah, I can see it. Perfect. We can see it. I'm going. Yep, here we go. Okay. So the first thing is our work plan this year. We've got two, well, three really, really four if you count Birch and Hemlock. They're, that's um, 1431 Park Cunnington. The spelling error here. Um, these are the wiser properties, and they're they're really interesting properties. Um, but that's a big big one to do. Staff has to complete those reports, and the reports come back to us, and we network, make sure everybody's happy, ourselves, the owners, everybody, and then it goes to council. So we got that one coming, working forward. Paint Lake School and Cemetery. Um, we're trying to um, designate that cemetery. Um, we're working on drafting a notice of intention uh, to be forwarded to Township of Algonquin Highlands. Now, the cemetery is in, in our, in Lake Bays, but intimately connected with AH. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I'd have to go back to the file to be 100% correct. I believe, there, this yeah, the schoolhouse is on one property and the cemetery is another property, but they are joined. So one, oh, like they're, Algonquin they're Island, so it's one. They're in Lake of Bays. Yes, well, half and half. Oh. That's, I think that's the, okay. why we have to work together, but I apologize for not providing okay. too many details. So, so you'd have, you'd have um, grandma in one and grandpa in the other. What, what's the Algonquin? I know it's right, it's right out for. No, Algonquin Silence is those other guys. But yes, but Algonquin Highlands, what's what um, ward, ward is it? It's Dorset. Dorset is what Algonquin Highlands and like a base shares. Yeah. So right out, you are correct. You know how we're divided into like Franklin and right out. Yeah, that's right out on our side. Uh, yeah. And then I don't know side. what it is on their side. Ward, they don't do that the same way they do Ward 1, Ward 2. So I don't know. I don't really know is which one I think it, which one it is. But anyway, we're going to have to work with them. And they're just a notice and just an inquiry. There are no First Nations buried in this graveyard, are there? Because if they, okay, because just be aware of that. If there are, we're going to be talking to Rama as well. I don't, I don't really think there are, but you never know as you move forward. So um, that's the Paint Lake School. And uh, the third one is Hemmings's The Lemon House. We wanted to change the designation change of the name to <coughs> a post office. It was very vague and broad. I think it was just the Dwight post office. So we need to look back because we had already gone through and um, provided, a, you know, made a bylaw and things like passed a bylaw. So yes. we have to look back at all that. It may be the Lemon House brackets post office. Yeah, we have to look at the heritage a little bit further. On so the, he's on very keen to get that done. Because um, so this is a, the house right on the corner. You go down Dwight Beach Road and turn right. So it's right on the corner. He, they're very 
closely connected to Tom's, um, Thompson. So he wants to do a launch of that, that when he's got his designation and his plaque. He wanted to do this before COVID. We couldn't do anything before COVID or during. So he's very keen to do an open house. Um, welcome to Tom Thompson's home away from home. So that's being worked on by the staff and that's under control, I hope. So I just put Lemon House brackets or other way around, but Dwight, Dwight Post Office brackets, Lemon House. Yeah. I feel like last year we also discussed even a year, like a range of when it was yeah. something like that, just when to give it a bit more post detail. Office. Yeah. Because it was not always the post office. It was not the only post office. And um, yeah. Okay. Then we come to number two. And Jackie, this is yours. If these stones could talk, take it away. Right. So here we have from Ruth, all of her hard work. Um, Who her? You got Ruth Judy on here, remember? New person. Yes. You know. I'm aware of it. Yeah. Yeah. She, she knows about it. So I, um, I, we printed these up. Thank you, Laura. And this is all Ruth's work on the people that are, the families that are buried in uh, Paint Lake. Not all of them, but most of them are early settlers. And so uh, Judy knows about this. We did this for Baysville. We were very limited with space and, and money. So we had to do short write-ups about the person buried, the family buried there. So, but I, Ruth would like to see all the all of her research included in in a, gu a walking guide or a cemetery guide. So I think we all agreed on that, didn't we? Yeah. So now we have to just do some editing. I'm sure she's a teacher. She probably did her own editing. So, <laughs> but we can at least uh, go through it, and then we'll we'll do a layout, and we have to figure out how much this will cost. I guess as well. Yeah, they have to go to the printers. Yeah. Yeah, so we have how much we put aside for that? Anything? Um, I think we have about 2,000 yeah. for materials and supplies, which would come out of again. Um, we do have quite um, a bit of money in our reserves, which we are able to use for yeah. what we see fit. So, so you know, um, Judy and Glenn, she has photos of, of the uh, tombstones, and uh, so which is good. Yeah, they're. So well, this one is also, we've got this on digital, of course. Yes. No, it was attached to the um, agenda if we wanted to, if yeah. you want to go through it. Um, and also for Judy and Glenn, if you want printouts, please let me know. I'm happy to print that out for you. I'm thinking more, uh, when, we, when it goes to print, these photos are all digital. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. We can make it a digital format as well. Okay. So now it needs editing. I'm looking at Jackie, who's looking at Judy, to work together on that. <laughs> like how I, how I volunteer, volunteered you. Yes, <laughs> I suspected she would do that anyway. <laughs> I was thinking about it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we work right. together well, so we're good. And then we've got the municipal plaque for Dwight. Um, where are we th with this? We've ordered it. And we all set to pull together on this one. Hmm? Yeah. Look at the right one. Sorry, everybody, just trying to bring that up. Um, so Municipal Plaque, I reached out, um, what was it, December of last year, we had finalized the wording, sent that off to our um, brass company, who is printing the um, sign, it's in production right now, and they advised me that June, it should be ready for shipment. So come, we have a, I have to check our, either a July or August meeting, maybe we could discuss 
the planning of a party um, a to do in September. Yeah. So we have to decide when we're going to unveil this. And then we work back from that uh, great long critical path. So Rebecca, hopefully, will do the landscaping right around the base of the plaque. Um, the plaque's being put up by Public Works. We'll have to identify an exact place. Um, we have a party with that. So if anyone gets a pull together for the party, and we have um, we, our staff has been great last year, we had the best years doing that. But we should find someone like last time we had music, both of them. We had um, Barbershop Quartet at the train, and we had we had the Children's Choir and Drum Circle at the, uh, the Dorset one. And um, yeah, so we should start thinking about who we could get for Dwight, who is a famous musician in Dwight. Oh, the by the old tennis courts. Charlie Thompson, yeah. Yeah, it's the old, old tennis courts. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Good. Well, you can look up that. We'll... Rebecca has an idea for um, a musician. So we'll need a we'll need a chart of something that so we know we, so we got everything ticked off. We don't get the last thing and go oh we forgot big plates and cups. Yep, maybe we can put that on our work plan to start compiling a list of everything we need to okay. do. So and we'll drag everyone into that somewhere. <laughs> Planning a party. Okay, <laughs> so um, I think probably is September for erection. Uh, it's probably a good time. I think the weather would be nice for sure. Yeah, it gives us enough time. But we have what? We have um, we have another two, two three, three meetings before then? July, so we'd have May and July. Two meetings. And if we have to have a working meeting in between, yeah. we can always do that. So we have basically three meetings. We can always put it off till October if we want four meetings. But we should know soon enough so so we can decide really soon. Um, pardon? <laughs> yep. Jackie's Jackie worried about cake. cake. <laughs> worried about the cake. Um, yeah, we have to get a cake. We have to get a everything, everything ready for this. So if it's going to be September, uh, what day in September do you uh, do people think? Mid-September? Not, not on Labor Day? Talking your microphones, please. They can't hear you otherwise. Sorry. <laughs> Judy, you works. We have to consider you and Glenn. So Judy, you your Tuesdays you're off early, right? I can leave earlier, yes. Okay. Okay. Mid-September. And okay. maybe a Tuesday. Game for mid-September. We'll finalize the date. Okay. Um that, that's a big thing there. And we should um, think about who you want to invite. Um, Brian, of course. <laughs> no, leave him, leave him out. So, uh, anything else for that? You can think of that? The ongoing. Okay. So the Royal Canadian boat. Um, Sean did a rule, did a lovely interview with Don Payne. Um, he doesn't know how to interview. So it was transcribed by, he did a great job. Uh, it's transcribed by voice to text. Careful when you use that. Everything's in there. Like, um, and like, er, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way through this. So I've been working with some help from Jackie, uh, weaning us out. And the language, the bot doesn't always hear what you say. Like the bear drove the boat. No, oh, the bear did not drive the boat. So we had to look up names that sounded like bear, figure out who was driving the boat. Um, I like the bear, but we don't believe it was him. So this has been rather slow to get done. 
but we're we're pretty much under control now. We should have that hopefully for next meeting. Oh, says she boldly. Okay, okay, onward. Uh, what we completed last year. Oh, did you put this on the plan for the council? These yeah. should all be in the report. Yeah, about um, I wrote it a, a while ago, so I'll double check. Just <laughs> um, yeah, but yes, yes, they are. I just put them on here just so new members can see the layout of what our work plan will look like. Um, the 2022 will slowly disappear and we'll move our 2023 items down. And uh, it's exciting to see that list grow. Yeah. Jackie. Could we add to um, sort of Britannia files? We're this? gonna do this for this year. Okay. Just hang on, hold that thought. Hold that thought. So now we're gonna talk about what we want to possibly add for this year. Um, yes. So unfinished business is not, okay. Never, I never know which way to go. Here. Okay, yep. There we go. So the inventory of Barb Patterson papers, she gave us crates, and I mean literally crates of uh, her research um, in Sinclair Ward. And they're lovely, but you couldn't use them as crates. You had to had to put them all on um, digital. You had to then itemize them so people could find them, so you could search. So that's still ongoing. Are, are we about halfway done, or more than that? Maybe halfway done. Maybe halfway done. We'll say halfway done. Yeah, right? let's be optimistic. It sounds very encouraging to say we're halfway done, and staff's doing that. Mm -hmm. lucky, lucky them. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, they're all digitized, but yeah, unfortunately they came in as bin one dot one. And now I have to figure out what bin one, what document bin one dot one yeah. was. So it it's so, a lengthy process. Yeah. So if anyone wants to come in and volunteer to help. Um, yeah, we could do that. So just putting out that out yeah, there. Thank you. Sure. So and oh, this heritage designation is sitting under unfinished business. Winter Cemetery, which is way the heck and gone up Finlayson, I think. St. Clair, Finlayson, somewhere up there, way, way up there. Um, it's on land held by um, Four Best Forestry. And they won't let us, they're, they're litigating it. They're saying, no, you can't come on the property. You can't come on. We won't, we won't let you uh, designate the cemetery. He won't let you on the property, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's sitting, just sitting in litigation. They are very difficult to work with because they won't, they won't talk to you. So this is very, very old cemetery up there. And we've got photographs, um, but we can't get any, we can't move forward on it. So that's just sitting there until they figure out what to do with the litigation. I lost it, come back. Digitizing Britannia information. Yeah, digitizing. Here we go, Jackie. That's yours also. Please speak to that. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. Yeah, we have about three more tubs to go through um, sorting. We don't want. There's a lot of duplicates. There's stuff that's really not important enough to keep and take up space. So I think we need a working meeting maybe to sort through it. If anybody wants to. So help. That was fun. See, that I can um, I can help with that one. That'd be great. That'd be great. Great plan. plan. Yeah, just we can spread out all through this room. Then we have to unspread. And so, do we? When is our working meeting? Uh, next month and after. Um, it would be normally we were booking them for um, the next month, so it'd be April twenty fifth. Um, but that can always be three o'clock. Yeah, let's we'll say three o'clock again. Does that work for you, Glenn? 
what was that? It's April 25th. April 25th. And what time? Um, no, planning, the selling us planning is going to run late. It, it, there's a potential. So, so it's three, three o'clock? Yeah. Okay. Some of the documents are kind of old. If you're more comfortable wearing some latex gloves, yeah, do so. You should wear gloves when you're handling them. Yeah. Um, we have gloves. I can bring some in. And me right at the council chambers or somewhere right here. else? Right, right here. here. Okay. I've got it marked down. Okay. And I'm sure Judy would be roped into this as well. If and I can get away for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Jackie is, of course, leaving us, our point person. Um, well, it should be exciting to go through that. Yeah. And there's a lot of information written down about labor loss. Um, Britannia. And the Britannia, goal, rather, the goal sorry. Is to write a book. That Lake of Bays through the, through the Years website. Again, I commend you on that website. There's some marvelous pictures coming up from Britannia on that. Okay. So don't forget, we can steal those. Borrow. Permission. Borrow those. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, you won't be going to big print for quotation because big print's not there anymore. Oh. But it, <laughs> but it will be going somewhere for quotation to get everything sorted into digital, so that <clears throat> so we can actually work with it. So the problem is you got all the stuff and you can't you you can't work with it. But we'll get that. Okay, we're working on getting that off our list. We had a proposal for a driving tour booklet around Limberlost Road. Um, never, nobody ever came to be the point person for that. And I think that might just fall by the wayside because I think there's nobody willing to take that on. There. The artist tour takes you up there. So I'd let me, I think maybe leave the artist to do that. Do you want to just take a straw vote and see if everyone yeah, on the what, committee- Yeah, what does everybody think of that? Glenn? The driving tour book, I can't, you'll have to uh, refresh my memory what it would be about. Like what it, like the Dwight and Dorset booklets, but going up Liberlost. Right. So Liberlost too big to walk, but it doesn't have really that many places along the, where for you to find a place of interest, other than the artist studios and Little Norway, and a couple of things, the one cemetery, things like that. So I think maybe it's best left the um, best left to the culture people, the artist tour. What do you think? It could be um, the main the main things you're um, you're after is just heritage aspects of the road. Yes. Okay. So we can't put the artists on it because a lot of those, their places are new and they're lovely and great places to stop, but they're not really, they're art and culture, not really heritage. Yes, Jackie. Right. On that, that note, um, Penny Thomas has been working on South Portage and I'm not sure if she's interested in sharing what she has because that might be good driving to her. Well, I'm not, sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. It might, but just let's get this out of the way first. Do you approve of letting Limelos go? Jackie says yes. Rebecca? Mm -hmm. Leave it to the artists. They get people up there twice a year. I think it's better for arts and culture, and I'm not sure if we want to be seeing yeah. cars up that road with all the cyclists and the cars and everything. Yeah. Judy, how do you feel? I agree. Yeah, and Glenn? I agree. Okay, so we'll take, that, we'll take that off. I'd be interested to um, help work on it. And if, if we had something from that lady from South Portage Road, however, um, the format that she's using, it would be interesting to see for sure. Yeah, we can always bring it back. But I take it off so it's not just sitting on our unfinished. Or okay. just so you're aware, unfinished is just also like a tracking list for us. So if we want, we can put a note underneath it just so we yeah, don't forget about it. Put a note. Okay. Saying, 
we'll put it on deferred. hold or something. Yeah. Okay. They don't, yeah. Okay. They don't, good. They don't okay. have an expiry date. Yeah. No, and we haven't. Not to the next meeting, right, Jackie? The burger house on uh, Miller Hill Road. What are we waiting to house for a site visit? Yes, so they had applied last year and um, council approved by resolution. We asked for more information and um, to organize a site visit. Um, a letter was sent out after that meeting. That would have been June. And a follow-up, two follow-up, three follow-up emails. And then a letter was just sent out um, March of this year, just like a hard copy, just maybe they weren't receiving the emails. So a hard copy was sent and I still have yet. Um, I okay. have given a date. If I don't hear back from you, we're going to consider your application withdrawn. Okay. Just so then it, we know finalized, but I do, I, you know, I hope to hear from them just to see where yeah. they're on. But it's a lovely house. It is. Yes. Lovely house. Yeah. So we're waiting on that to move forward and we can't really so yeah, in, in May, I will definitely give you whether I've heard back. Yes, I no. gave them kind of mid-April um, to respond. So we will wait and see. Okay. Okay. So that brings us up to date, everybody. We've got a thing to do in the working of uh, the working meeting and the plaque. I'm going to move forward. So the working meeting on Britannia and the plaque moving forward and the um Transfer to the boat are the big things right now. Okay. okay. Think about what you what do you'd like to do this four years? If there's a pet project, um, Judy, I know you at that um, moving museum at Baysville. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. You want to do love it. Something similar. Or COVID really kicked the legs off that. Um, but if you want to do something like that, bring it to us. If you okay. got an idea, like Glenn, if you have an idea on something we could do, or a house, if there's a particular, you're out there buying and selling like like a mad tycoon, if you come across a heritage house, talk it up. Yeah, uh, no, I'll think of uh, something. What's, and Judy, what's the um, museum that you're referring to? I would love it to either be a moving one or if someone could donate space, like the Anglican church would be an ideal spot and just put up a little museum of what stuff I have and what other people may have and uh, make like it into a Glenn, museum. For Glenn was basically, they took a corner of the wall somewhere like cast iron and they put up a display. Oh, like that. A display of something. Yes. Photos, right. a uniform. And then you moved it after so long. You moved with that yes. to another place, but up something else. As so, that, right? Okay. That right. Might. So we've had a little, a few setbacks to that because of the fire at the uh, general store, and we still need to get all that stuff back. It wasn't damaged too much. The fire at the general store. Yeah. And then Michelle took hers down. And where else did we have it, Jack? You're a cast iron, you're a humble pie. You're the we never got to cast iron yet. Oh. That was step two, or the next step. Well, start identifying where you go put them. Right. Let's bring this back then, Judy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do that. So you can look at that and bring it back to us for consideration. Uh, we can help. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, clarification. That's called a moving museum. Is that what you said? Uh, I don't know. What did you call that? I don't think it was that, but I like it. Oh, okay. Well, making things <laughs> up now. There you go. <laughs> so just for clarification, what um, I'm interested to do it, but what would I be looking out for or in a general term of um, possibilities that I could... Um, projects that I could do? Um, okay. You can take part in anything you like. Um, just say, I want to work, jump in on that. Uh, if you're out looking into houses, look, keep an eye out for heritage buildings. We could okay. place into the program. Um, the, they're going to be working on the um, historical elements from Baysville. You can join ja uh, Judy and Jackie on that just some lightly of what you're doing. You don't have to pour hours of time at this. Um, the plaque, we'll have lots of jobs for you on the plaque, I'm sure. Okay. okay. 
So basically, anything you really want to take part in, just say, here I am, I'm going to do this. Uh, Batania, come, come and help that, okay? I'll definitely be there for Britannia and the uh, the plaque. I'm, I'm yeah, we, definitely be interested in that. Pencil you down for the plaque and Britannia. That's good, I think. Okay. And Judy, do you you might know of some people like is it Pam Garrett that she has that old log cabin on her cottage that she might want to have designated? Um, her cottage is not that old. Okay, the log cabin, do you remember that? You know one? the one we want to get? We want yes. to get Paul down Paint Lake Creek. They have the old building that housed the generator of the Paint Lake Tramway. Okay, so anybody like that? Who knows them? That's a marvelous place. Do you that would them? be a good one. Yeah. I don't, I don't know them. Jackie, I know the one you're talking about. It's not Pam. Somebody else has it, but it's all the logs from the original um, one up on Took that was moved to build a, to build this house. I don't know if it's an officially a heritage site, but the logs are there. Okay. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, and that's the one we can't find the foundations. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go on, Hans. All right. So we got this little loosey goosey for the first meeting. But this, you see, we've got stuff to work on and go forward with, and we've got a lot of work to do. Um, I think that's it for today. If in next meeting, May 30th, but the working meeting on April 25th. April, thank you, Glenn. April 25th here. Uh, that's very informal. Um, Jackie will be leading that because it's Britannia. I'll send okay. it. I'll send out a calendar invite as well. So yes. Okay. Members. And Laura will try to keep us on the straight and narrow. And moved by Glenn, seconded by Jackie. We adjourn at 3.49. Almost 3.50. <laughs> PM, 3.49. To meet again, Tuesday, May, 20, May 30th. And we'll send you a notice on um, time. If planning looks like it's long, Otherwise, two o'clock, but if planning looks going to be, be like today, it'll be at three o'clock. Hybrid okay. setting. Okay. So thank you very much, everybody. And that's it. We're out. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Welcome, Judy. Thank you. <laughs>